Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. 2016, um, there was a probability question on paper 2, question 6, that dealt with a lotto, and um, in essence was working out the expected value. So let me read it out for you. A local sports club is planning to run a weekly lotto. To win the jackpot of a thousand euros, contestants must match one letter from the 26 letters in the alphabet and two numbers chosen. Okay, two numbers, one letter. Okay. Um, and the numbers are from 0 to 9. Okay, so a couple of things there. Num one letter. And of course you have 26 out of them. So you have a 1 in 26 chance there. You need two numbers. The digits 0 to 9. And be careful because that's actually 10 digits. It's very easy to put down 9 there. So you have 10 digits there. Um, to choose from. So for each number, you have a 1 in 10 chance of getting it right. Okay. Um, chosen in the correct order from the numbers 0 to 9. In this lotto, repetition is allowed. Okay. Very important that you know whether repetition is allowed or not. Calculate the probability that M33 would be the winning outcome in a particular week. Well, the probability of M33 Three three is so I need m and three and three so the probability of m is one over twenty six one chance one letter out of the twenty six and the number so that's that and law of probability so I'm going to multiply them uh, to get the number three I have one chance out of the ten digits and I need to get the other three. So that is what? Across the top, 1 by 1 by 1 is 1, 26 by 10 by 10, 26, 0, 0. So the probability of getting, of winning the lotto is 1 over 2,600. Okay, so that's that first part there. Um, and there was 10 marks for that actually in the exam. So part B, if a, contest, if a contestant matches the letter only, or the letter and one number, but not both numbers, they will win 50 euros. Using the table below or otherwise, find how much the club should expect to make or lose on each play correct to the nearest cent if they charge two euros per play. Okay, if a contestant matches one letter only or the letter and a number. Okay, so let's read down here. Win the jackpot, match the letter and the first number only. So they're going to win 50 euros. Match the letter and the second number, they're going to win 50 euros. Match the letter only. Match the letter and neither number. Fail to win, well, they're going to win zero. Win the jackpot. The jackpot was 1,000. It's up there at the top. Okay. Right. Using the table below or otherwise, find how much the club should expect to make or lose. So this is really a typical expected value of X question where you charge so much for a game, you work out how much you're expected to pay out um, and you see if it's a good game. Okay, so the expected value of X is, it's Greek letter sigma, the sum of X, all of the values by the probability of them occurring. Okay, very important formula that you need to know again, not in the log tables. You have to know the expected value of X formula. Okay, so these are what we would consider our X values here. They're how much you could win. So these are all these X values here. Now I need to work out the probability of these events occurring. Okay, and then the third column is multiplying these together and sigma just means you add them all up. Okay, so the probability that you win the jackpot. Well, in fact, that's what we did up here. We just picked a jackpot, M33. So the chance of you winning are, in fact, 1 out of 2600 of getting 
the right letter, no matter what the letter is, it was just M in this case, the right number and the right number. Okay, why is it 1 over 10 by 1 over 10 and not 1 over 9? Well, that's because repetition of numbers were allowed. Okay, if they weren't allowed, it would be 1 over 10 here by 1 over 9 because you'd have only 9 numbers left because you'd have used one of them here. But repetition of numbers are allowed. So for this second number here, you're allowed to use all 10 numbers again. Okay, let's work out the probability that you match the, the letter... So the probability that you match the letter and the first number, but not the second number. Okay, so the probability you match the letter is one chance out of 26. The probability that you match the first number is one chance in 10. Now, the probability that you do not match the second number, well, You've only one chance in 10 of getting it right, so you have nine chances out of 10 of getting it wrong. So for example, if we say that second number was three, okay, well, then sure, if you get zero, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's your nine chances of not getting it. So if you put that into the calculator, you get nine over two, six, zero, zero. So you have nine chances out of two, six, zero, zero of matching the letter and the first number only. So the probability of the letter, not the first number, and you do get the second number, is 1 over 26, not the first number, is 9 over 10, and you do get the second number. So it's the same as the first line. These are the same, it's just in a different order. So again, that is 9 over 2600. The probability that I match the letter, not first number, not second number, is 1 over 26 of matching the letter, 9 out of 10 chances of not matching the first number, 9 out of 10 chances of not matching the second number. 9 nines, 81 over 2600 zero, zero chances of only matching the letter. Okay, so I'm adding up then 1 and 9 and 9 and 81. And I'm getting 100. So I have 100 chances out of 2600 zero, zero chances of winning something in this lottery, okay? So minus that 100 chances from 2600, zero, zero, and I have 2500 zero, zero chances of not winning anything at all. So my chances of winning this lottery are slim enough. Okay, so that's the second column worked out. Um, X then by probability of X means I multiply this by this. Okay, so let's do that. I'm, I'm not even going to simplify the fractions and I'll just write it in blue so you can see it. A thousand by that is a thousand over two six zero zero. Nine by fifty is four hundred and fifty over two six zero zero. Nine by fifty is four fifty over two six zero zero. Eighty one by fifty, can't do that one in my head, is four oh five oh. over 2600 zero, zero, and then 0. Okay, so let's come down to our expected value of x that we add here. Okay, so it's the sum of x by the probability of x's. Okay, so it's this 1000 over 260, over 2600 I should say, and it's the next one, 450 over 2600 zero, zero, plus 450 again over 2600 zero, zero, plus 4050 over 2600. Zero, zero. And if I add them all up, I get 1000 plus 450, plus 450, plus 4050 over 2600. And I am getting 2.28 for that. 
2.28. Okay, so that is my expected value. Now, what does that mean in, in everyday English? Well, that means that for the design of this game, how it's set up, this company will pay out on average 2.28 euros to every single person that plays it. Now, I remember that confusing me at the start when I did probability first, because as far as I was concerned, this isn't an amount you can win. You can only win a thousand or fifties or, of course, nothing. OK, so what does 2.28 mean? Well, it, it's a it's it's a statistical number. It's it's on average. If loads of people play this game, yes, someone will win a thousand, some will win nothing. But on average, every person will win 2.28 euros. OK, that's if you were to add up all the winnings for a particular day and spread it out among all the people that played. On average, everyone would get two euros 28. So what? OK, well, what does that mean then? Um, that means that this particular company um, hasn't designed the best, um, the best lotto. This sports club is going to lose money. Why? Because they're actually only charging you two euros to play the game, yet on average they're paying out two euros twenty-eight. So for every game that's played, they will lose twenty-eight cents. So let me come up and read the question used in the table below, or otherwise find how much the club should expect to make or lose on each play correct to the nearest cent. Okay, well let's just finish it off. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit squishy, so 2.28 minus that two euros so 0.28 loss is the answer to that question okay so that's how you do that particular part of that question and i have a feeling there's another part to it yeah there is the club con estimates that the average number of uh, plays per week will be 845. So they've gathered data over a length of time and they know that on average um, there's 845 games uh, played per week. If the club wants to make roughly a profit of 600 per week from the lotto, then how much should they be charging for the game? Okay, so 845 games per week. OK, um, and they want to make profit per week. OK, so if that's how much games they play per week, OK, then how much do they pay out? And remember, it was two euros and sorry, I'm just after looking at my calculator there. I rounded wrong, so that was 229 is what this should should say, because it was 2.228, or 288 I should say, so 29 cents per game, okay? So, 2.0 new per game is what they expect to pay out. So if this is the amount of games per week, then they will pay out 2.29, multiply by that 845, And you will get, let me just put that in my calculator, 845 multiply by 2.29. So I'm getting 1935.05 euros. So that's how much they're going to pay out. Okay, so in theory, to break even, they need to make this much. OK, so if you were to break even, you would take that 1935.05. Well, to break even, what you would be doing is you would be charging 229 per game. OK, but they don't want to break even. They want to make a profit of 600 per week. So they also need to take to account for that 600 um, when they're considering their revenue. So one nine. 35.05 that's how much they pay out they want to make 600 profit so in total per week they need to take in enough money this is with 600 euros profit 
Okay, so that's how much they need to make. Now let's divide that by the amount of games. Okay, and divide that by 845. And I am getting about three euros per game is what they should charge. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Okay, another way of doing it, of course, is to is to consider this break even point that I made up here. Okay, well, you know that to break even, they need to charge. They need to charge at least 229 euros per game. So for the profit, well, they want to make 600 a week and they're going to have 845 games. So to have 600 profit per game, they need to make a profit of 0 0.71 cents. So if you add on that 71 cents onto the break even number, you will again get three euros, which is what they need to make or what they need to charge per game to break even and have a 600 euros profit. So either way, we'll um, finish off that question. And that was the 2016 question complete. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.